What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany. And in today's video, we will be doing a long overdue, much needed touch up on these large knotless braids. I've had them in my hair a little over three weeks, so almost a month. And there's a lot of new growth, a lot of buildup. Child, the hair just needs some TLC. So today I'll be doing a touch up using the Kaleidoscope products. Kaleidoscope products have been around for a while, but recently in 2023, she partnered with her wife, The Brat, and they released a line of braiding products, and I was gifted the So So Slick braiding gel for Valentine's Day. Y'all, I was so blown away by this packaging, I had to do some more research, and in discovering the whole line of products, I went ahead and brought two other items that I thought would be perfect for my touch-up today. So, of course, I'm going to share every detail, but first, let's get these braids out. With my large knotless braids, I like to wear them down most of the time. So right now you see me cutting the middle section where I would wear a middle part. And then I go across the front and I do that first row for side parts. So I take out maybe about 10 braids. Yeah, six down the middle, four across the front. And I just chop them down, remove them. And I don't know why I cut them so long, y'all, because my hair itty bitty. I should really be embarrassed to show y'all just how dirty my hair is and how this buildup has just piled up in my hair over time. But that's why I'm doing this touch up on camera as well because I think these products will be perfect. I purchased the apple cider vinegar rinse along with this line that I'm hoping will get my hair nice and clean. So now that we have the braids out, let's talk. Let's get into the products. Let's see what we have here. Now, first up, I'm gonna go in with this cleansing apple cider vinegar rinse. This particular product is called What You Like. And y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, quick disclaimer, I'm bending the rules right now with this particular product because this is a pre or post rinse product, meaning you're supposed to rinse your hair prior to getting the protective style in or after taking the hairstyle out. But because I'm only touching up a portion of my hair, I'm only going to apply it to the section that is loose. It gives you a section of instructions or directions on how to apply this product while you already have braids in. So this is good. It says, while in a protective style, apply to scalp and use a clean cloth to gently rub the scalp or rinse with water. The benefits are it deeply cleanses without stripping, reduces time to detangle if you're taking it loose. It soothes, moisturizes, and refreshes the scalp, which is what I need. So yeah, let's get into it. And now that I read the instructions for already having the style in and I know I don't need damp here, I'm not gonna need my spray bottle. I'm just gonna go in row by row. Let's make sure it's open first. Okay, it does foam like the directions say. If you see me looking off to the side, it's because I have a mirror. I was wondering why it wasn't coming out. The thing was inside the top part of the applicator. So yeah, now it is ready to use. And we're gonna go down each row, y'all. I'm looking off to the side because I have a mirror right here. Oh, and it already feels so good. It's really cool. Y'all, I went out a little earlier, so I do have a little bit of makeup on. If y'all see the towel getting dirty, it's just foundation, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna just put a little bit more massage it into these sections. It feels so good, y'all. This is just what my hair needed. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels really good. Keep in mind, if this is the first time you're seeing this product be reviewed, that my hair is not clean, you guys. I've had my hair in this protective style about a month, maybe three and a half weeks. So there is a lot of buildup in my hair. But oh my gosh, it's coming out clean, easy. Of course, there's nothing like soap and water and shampooing it thoroughly. But if you're trying to hang on to your protective style just a little while longer, I'm already loving this rinse. I am loving it. So I'm just taking my precision comb and combing a lot of the buildup up to the surface. All of that rinse is saturating in my scalp right now. And I'm just taking a comb and combing that buildup out of my hair. Yes. 
So my hair is all rinsed out and ready to be rebraided in the sections that I removed. I'm going to rate the first product. I will give it a 10 out of 10, y'all. I don't know if I mentioned it yet in this video, but every last one of these products were $15 from Walmart. And um, I would pay $15 for this. This is something that I will use to pre-rinse my canker line hair before putting it in. Any of y'all who have to wash your hair before putting it in, I would definitely use this as something to wash the hair with. I'm three weeks since my last wash, and although my hair could definitely use a deep, deep, deep shampoo, this was able to get a good amount of the buildup out of my hair. We're about to apply the product, the other two products and see how it all comes together. But as of right now, I do feel like this product would be good for removing buildup when you're in the mood for a touch-up. So what you like, 10 out of 10. Let's move on. This particular product has ginger, manuka honey, oat milk, and flaxseed. We all know flaxseed is good for the hair, but the manuka honey is the smell. It's the smell for me. Um, the benefits of this particular gel is the gripping gel helps hold braids and twists for longer protective styles. Adds healthy looking shine without weighing the hair down. It smooths the edges and ponytails and helps them to hold in place. No flaking or buildup on hair. We gonna see. Before I began braiding, we gotta get this hair unpackaged and separated on the rack. And if you all watched the original video when I first put this style in a few weeks ago, then you all know that I used the 90 inch pre-stretched braiding hair by Free Tress. So we separate the hair and we get it on this rack. And y'all, I cannot wait to get my hands in this So So Sleek braiding gel. Y'all, this So So Slick gel is a winner within itself. This So So Slick gel carries this style, carries this touch up all on its own. It is a very light gel. When you touch it, hold it, immediately it melts into your hands, it melts into your hair. I loved rubbing it on my natural hair because the moment I rubbed it on my natural hair, it almost made my natural hair invisible the way it seamlessly just collided and just hid into the canker line i can't i don't even know the right verbiage for it but this gel was everything i love the fact that it is a clear gel because normally if there's any type of color to the gel whether it's like an orange tint a brown tint and there is some type of residue it's going to leave a residue that's that color so the fact that the gel is clear i knew if it was going to be any residue it would be white and I'm good with that. I could have just taken a cloth and wiped it off. I was so scared about using this gel on top of dirty hair. But honestly, y'all, with my hair being dirty, this is probably one of the best products I could have used because you can't hardly see anything. If you pay close attention to the sections where I applied the product, where I'm doing the touch-up versus the sections where I didn't put any product, you can see a big difference in how slick my hair is versus the hair that has all of the new growth, the sections of my head with the new growth. But this product against my hair, y'all, it made it so slick and so easy to blend in with the canker line hair. I really loved it. The hair, the weave itself actually loved it. Anytime it tangled, I would rub the product through the weave and it would detangle instantly. I'm back, you guys. Oh, I really hit a gold mine. I feel like I did with these products. My braids look new. We're not going to do a 360 and show y'all the back. Obviously, the back, the boxes are fuzzy. All the new growth is there. But in the front, if you see anything white, that's the mousse still trying to settle in. But y'all, over to the side back down the middle and yeah let me flip it this way too to just let y'all know i'm doing the front these products oh my goodness oh my goodness so so slick it has my hair feeling like it's relaxed my boxes and everything i wanted to try these three out which stuck out to me the most before just impulsively buying the whole box and it comes with everything they have gel for locks for retwist they have refresher spray so this is a rinse if i was supposed to put in my hair and rinse it out but they have like a refresher spray that i could have went in between the parts and like removed build up or like shine my hair this is the final step that i'm about to put on now before i let y'all go the so so slick locking creams locking gels um i didn't see an edge control and i am totally 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 impressed but the final product that I'm going to put in my hair today is called the Platinum Shine. The Platinum Shine stuck out to me because from what I read, it's an oil sheen. It's kind of just 
like what's in that red can back there, oil sheen spray. But I've never seen an oil sheen in a pump like this. So this really caught my attention. Every product is different. Some of them, all of them, I will say, have the Manuka honey. That's what gives it the smell. That's what, make the, that's what makes the whole line smell kind of similar. Every product you smell is going to have that Manuka honey in it. But each product did have something different in it that made it stand out from the rest. For example, the cleansing rinse had tea tree oil, ginger, and Manuka honey. The So So Sleek Gel had oak milk, flaxseed, ginger, and Manuka honey. And this has coconut oil, grapeseed oil, and the Manuka honey and aloe vera oil. So alongside here, it says no sulfates, no parabens, no alcohol, no animal testing. We love that. It's animal cruelty free. And yeah, let's get into this product, you guys. I am a big fan of coconut oil. My skin and my hair also really love aloe vera oil. So I love that that's in here. Grapeseed oil has a great smell. So I'm curious to see how that smells paired with the Manuka oil. And yeah, we're just gonna spray this in my braids and see what happens. It was very light, but I can tell from the cloud and me inhaling so much of it that I did just spray a lot but I don't feel it. It's going to be really, really dangerous for me to have a pump like this that I can't feel the product coming out because it's going to make me want to keep spraying. Let's rub it in. Oh, my braids are refreshed, y'all. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10. This is how my hair looks and y'all seen how filthy it was. It is still very filthy, but my braids still look clean and fresh. Yeah. We're going to get another week out of this. Maybe even two weeks because these products are outstanding. But yeah, if you decide to give the Kaleidoscope Times the Brad Braiding Gel line, Braiding Product line a try, let me know what y'all think. If you have already, let me know what y'all think. Definitely touch up friendly. Definitely natural friendly. Partially dirty hair friendly. This product will get the job done. I love you all and see you in the next video.